Mrs. Humes again. Today we're going to talk a little bit about indirect objects. Um, since we just did direct objects, an indirect object actually receives a direct object. Some of the key things to remember about indirect objects, they come in between the verb and the direct object. They never come after that direct object. They receive a direct object and they're not used a whole lot, so don't try to make every sentence have one. So let's look at an example. The teacher gave the class some cookies. All right, so let's first find our verb as always, which is gave. Who gave? The teacher. The teacher gave what? What did the teacher give? The teacher gave cookies. To whom? Who did she give them to? That's what our next question is going to be. Who got the cookies? Well, the class did. And you'll notice that the indirect object is between the verb and the direct object. That's where it needs to be. It needs to be between the verb and the direct object. And the class received the cookies. All right, so let's look at the next one. The teacher gave some cookies to the class. It's a little bit different. Our verb still is gave. Who gave the teacher? The teacher gave what? Cookies. Again, who did she give them to? Well, she still gave them to the class, but if you'll notice, class is not in between the verb and the direct object. It really needs to be in between the two. To the class is actually a prepositional phrase, and our major parts of the sentence, if you hadn't noticed, are never in prepositional phrases. So it's not an indirect object in that case. So let's do some practice sentences. Let's look at the first one. The woman sent her niece a postcard from Spain. Our verb here is sent. Who sent? The woman. The woman sent what? What is it she sent? She sent a postcard. Make sure you didn't pick Spain. She didn't send Spain. She sent a postcard. Who did she send the postcard to? Who got that postcard? That would be her niece. And if you'll notice, niece is in between the verb and the direct object. So that's right. All right, next, the crying baby gave the woman anxiety. Our verb here is gave. Who gave the baby? What did the baby give? Well, the baby gave anxiety. That's what the baby was giving. And who did the baby give the anxiety to? The woman. The woman received the anxiety. And woman is in between the verb and the direct object. Next, the children promised their mother breakfast. Verb is promised. Who promised? The children. The children promised what? What did they promise? They promised breakfast. And who did they promise breakfast to? Their mother. Their mother's going to get that breakfast. So mother receives the direct object and mother is in between the verb and the direct object. Finally, Jim's wife gave a book to him. Verb here is gave. Who gave? The wife. The wife gave what? Well, she gave a book. Who'd she give it to? She gave it to him. But him is not in between the verb and the direct object. To him is actually a prepositional phrase, so in that sentence, we don't have an indirect object. So I hope that helps you guys out with your homework. Have a great night.